All right. We are on the section called Listing Action Plans Without Pro and basically without action plans. The system does not actually have action plans in there at this point. Rumor is they may be adding them, which will make this easier. Um, but there is actually a way you can really create your own action plans within the system right now. It just takes a little um, tweaking of a marketing plan and you are set. So you can actually take a listing plan where you have this on paper where you may be filling this out by hand and making sure, yes, I've done that, I've done that. Well, it's time to automate it and make it automatically just remind me of these things when these things are due. Um, I'll just, this is just a very basic, simple little action plan. It's 26 steps, but it covers 180 days. And fill out the packet. And then I put how many days from the launch of the plan is that due. Turn in the photos, turn in the packet to the office, turn in the photos to the office, lockbox, sign install, um, register the lockbox, realtor.com upgrade, so on and so forth. I've got one week call in here, a two week call. 15-day market review and price reduction uh, for price reduction, and then three-week call to the seller, and then we've got a 30-day price reduction review. There, I mean, there's no need for me to keep a thing that I have to look at every day on paper and see, oh, do I need to do anything? This system, if you put it in place, it'll just alert you, say, it's time to do this, it's time to do that. So all you need to do is just set this up once, and then let's say you um, come up with some new ideas, you can add stuff to it at any time. All we need to do is get the foundation of the plan built, and this is just for a listing. You can do many different types of action plans out there for yourself. You can do stuff for your personal life. If you have action plans of, I need to do this, 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 and this, when something happens, you just launch the plan, and it'll automatically tell you what to do. And this system is going to email you when these things are due. So it'll be right in your email. You won't even have to check anything else. It'll tell you when it's due. So let's go into the eEdge system. And I'm just going to show you how cool this is once you have this set up. So now I'm just going to go in and I am going to view my contacts. The first thing you're going to want to do is in your manage groups is create a group called listing action plan. We want to have a group because we're going to attach this action plan to that group. Because what we're actually doing is since they don't have this in place, we might as well find a way to make it happen with what they have in place and this actually does work. So now all I have to do is add a contact at any time and I'm going to do 123 Anywhere Drive, Rochester, Minnesota. So what I'm doing is for the name of the client, I'm putting in the address because when the events are due, it's going to email me that address and what is, what is um, to be done. So I need to have that in the name field because that's what gets emailed to me. So I have that and then I go down. I'm going to put this as inactive for the status. And then inactive doesn't turn off any campaigns. It just lets you know that this person is not actively buying since we're tricking the system here and we're making an action plan. And then I've put in phone number. I don't need anything for the email. I'm just going to put in test email 33 at gmail.com. Put that in. And then all I have to do is hit save. And it creates the contact. And then I go all the way down to the groups. Add group and I do a listing action plan and then I hit the add button and now that action plan that I have set up is going to take effect and everything on the action plan is a to do for me there's nothing that goes to the client so this email address does not even matter but the system requires it so we just put in a false email address so now I'm set that property address is going to um, tell me everything that's due on my action plan for a listing so it's automated it's going to come right to my email every single day something is due so how do we get that set up? So once we go into create marketing, we've got our group created. We go into create marketing. And I am just going to use the simple, uh, I'm going to take an 8x8. Eight eight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it into a to-do list for me. 8x8 eight eight for buyers. It'll bring me to the campaign. And it's emails and phone calls. Um, but we're going to turn all that off. We're going to select it. I'm going to go my personal listing action plan. And then I hit next. And again, this is crucial. You don't want to attach it, you want to attach the group to this. And it's not on the first page, it's probably on my second page. There it is, listing action plan. And I attach that to it. And then I hit save. So now every time I put an address, allegedly, I mean it's really the person, but it's going to be the address onto the group, it's going to launch this action plan, marketing plan, but we're converting it to an action plan. So just one second here. 
Okay, so we have the action plan. The next thing we have to do is we want to hit start. We want to start this campaign. So now it's active because now we can go in and turn stuff off. Because what we're actually going to do is I'm going to edit each one of these events because right now it's 8 days, 15 days. Because I can't delete it and get it out of my way, I want to edit each one of these events and put it like 200 days out so then I can just see my um, current activity. So I'm going to edit this project. Again, this action plan, you set it up once and you're set. Oh, I'm sorry, not edit project, but edit event. Go back to that real quick. I just want to change the date, the days, then it gets out of my way. All right, so you go edit event, and I'm just going to put in 200. I'm just going to copy that so I can put it for everyone. What will happen is I'll move it to the bottom of the list. Edit event, 200. Save. Edit event. 200 and save. Again, you're never going to have to do this again, so once you set up your, your plan, you're set. Edit event 200. And edit event 200. And that's a follow-up call. I'm actually going to keep that one. So I'll show you what we're going to do with that. And then 200. And then we're going to edit that one. And 200. And that moved all of the emails to the bottom of the list. And now what I'm left with is I've got two notifications here. And they're phone calls, but actually what the system does is they're actually notifications telling you to do something and emails you. And being that the event is titled phone call, that's what it's telling you to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the event to be one of these action items. So the first one we're going to do is fill out the listing packet. So I'm just going to copy that. So I'm going to edit this event. I'm just going to paste that in. And that was due one day from the start. I'm just going to delete all the that, fill out listing packet, and then I hit save. So boom, fill out listing packet, one day, that's on. Now we go to the next event, and we're going to edit. And this is going to be, whatever your plan may be, it may not be this, but I'm going to actually do every step of this. I want to show you exactly how it's done. You can probably already see what I'm going to be doing, and you can probably already pick up and do your own action plan right now. And that happens on day one as well. So I've got, I'm going to get two notifications right in my email telling me to do this. Uh, edit the event and change it to take photos. I forgot to change the name of it. So fill out listing packet, take photos. But now I don't have any more um, notifications. So what I'm going to have to do is add notifications. And I need a total of 26. I've already got two. So I need to add 24 notifications. So I'm actually going to do that right now. I'm going to add all 24 so I can get them in there. And then I can just quickly whip through this. And in 5, 10 minutes, I'm done. So add notification. Actually, um, I don't... I will do one at a time. So turn in packet. So this one and put that in there. And that's good. The only thing that it does when you add this is you can see these are on. It doesn't turn it on. It turns it to off. So you have to hit the on button on that. So I've already got three steps of my 26 done. So again, it's just a one time turn this program on. Turn photos into the office. And then all I do is I click add. Paste that in there. That is due one day as well. And paste this. And then I hit save. And then I just go down and make sure I turn that one on. So I've got that on. And there we go. And now I go down to the next one. Install lockbox. I'm already on five. Again, this is one time setup. That's, um, that's on day two. And I hit save. And what's going to happen is every time one of these events is due, is it's going to email me this turn in packet to the office along with the address so I know exactly what it's associated with and exactly what I need to do. And then I turn that on. And now I go to sign install. The only thing that obviously this isn't a full fledged, um, if you're used to an action plan in like a top producer, this is day two. I hit save. Um, you have the ability to set it up to where an item doesn't start until I complete the previous item. You won't have that option here since this isn't a true, true action plan, but you're basically building a real action plan here. And then your checklist is going to be when it's emailed to you, once you've completed it, then you delete it out of your email. So it's out of your way. But if it's in your email, that means you still need to do it. So it's going to track it automatically for you. Now we click add and we're going to add in the next one here, register the lockbox. And that is on day two as well. That's a notification. I hit that. I hit save. So none of these are emails. And I turn that on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump down to 
Okay, so I'm, I'm going to actually go down. I'm going to jump to the step 13 here. So week one, call to seller. So probably should spell that right. So now I go back to my eEdge system, and I'm going to add that event in. Add. And I'm just copying and pasting from here. And that's a notification. I do that. And number of days, that's on day 7. And I paste that in, and I hit set. And now I go down, and I just turn that on. So now that one's done. Now I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to add another event. And the next one's going to be a set up my office tour. That's on day 7 as well. That's a notification. That means it's coming to me. So that's why that email address that we put in for when we enter them does not even matter. And hit save. Now I scroll on down. We hit on. And now I can see I've got nine steps already set up on here. Uh, first open house. Let's get that scheduled. And maybe if you get the, the alert that this doesn't pertain to this one, then all you do is you delete the email and you move on. You're done. You completed the activity. That's all you have to do. And then we go to, I'm going to jump down to, okay, now we need to do 15 day market review. So that's a notification. I have that. That's day 15. I'm just pasting. I'm pasting the same thing in here because it requires a value in that field. I hit save. And I'm actually not going to keep doing the on thing every time. At the end, I'm just going to go back and turn them all on at once. It'll just save me a ton of time. Third open house, day 21. So then we can really actually fly through this. Then we'll just turn them all on at one time. So then I hit that. Um, three week call to my seller. Add this client. Now just think. My mind's always spinning in um, weird directions, but what I'm doing here is I'm just setting these things up to fall right on those dates. So 30 day, obviously that would be 30 days out. Um, for the, the, one of the next items that we're going to be looking at, oops, I did an email on that one, so I'm going to go back and I'll show you how to change that. I think if we look down here, I'll have an email in here somewhere. Oh, nope. Um, Oh, I did do it all right. Okay, never mind. I thought I hit email on one of them. Um, we're going to be looking at creating your own like, 60 days. I just hit save. Personal um, past client campaign. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding in events that tell you that, okay, it's been 30 days since they bought their home. Give them a call. It's been 60 days. It's their one year anniversary. It's their birthday of buying their home. And it's going to go on forever. You can actually set it for as long as you want. But now we're going to have the systems all put in place so you are communicating to your clients um, in a systematic way and you're, you're not guessing, oh, who bought a home for me? When should I call them? We're going to take care of all of that for you. Notifications, 120, and hit save, and then we're going to do 150, add that event, and bear with me here, I just want to show you the full campaign, and hit save, so now I'm up to 18, at the last event here, so this is my final step, and I, it will tell me that when I get the email, that is on day 180, that's a standard, just a six month listing agreement, and I hit save, and now what I need to do is, since I didn't turn those on, so just on, on, I'm just going to turn them all on here, save me a ton of time because then I could add them a lot faster, so it's the old um, assembly line approach, one at a time and then do the rest, so then this, turn all these on, I hit this, and 120, and 150 and then 180 and then I have to do one more thing it's not going to matter that these things, emails are going out because it's going to go out to cyberspace but just turn these off these are the all the emails that we moved to day 200 we're just going to turn them all off then we don't get bounced back emails because it's going to send it to that need email 123 at gmail so we'll just turn those off but now with these systems that we're showing you here you really have every tool to um, run your business. Action plans are so crucial. It just simplifies this, your job and takes stress out of your job. So we've got the for sale by owner um, 8x8. We've got the expired. We've got the um, just a, somebody looking to sell their home 8x8 that's already put into the system. We've got our action plan for listings. Um, and now basically you have the ability to go in and create any action plan you want because you kind of see how that works and you can set up anything that you want within the